drive. Please read which station would you like? <laughs> what a car. Samir Uchi with you for Motrox TV. Today we have something a little bit special. In my opinion, it's one of the most amazing, beautiful, brand new cars that are hitting the market. The 2023 7 Series. So this is the seventh generation 7 Series, and it is the entry level for the 7 Series. This is 735. You won't find a lot of videos about the 735 on the internet, and the reason being is because this particular model is not offered in the US. It's offered pretty much everywhere else in the world, except the US. But I thought, why not cover the 735, since this is probably, in my opinion, gonna be the most popular one for everybody from this particular category. One of the biggest, biggest changes that you're gonna see is the front. I mean, it's unlike any other BMW we've seen. This split headlights, both of them very functional and very much in, in needed. The front grille, now the front grille, we still call it a grille, but really it's not really a grille. Although this one is a mix of both. These vents actually open up. Whenever the car needs a little bit of cooling, it opens up by itself at its own time and its own thinking. We well, love the chroming at the bottom. I love how high. This, this is, I mean, it really makes it bordering that super luxury limo kind of vehicles where it's like giving it that strong presence. The, the front is just amazing. When it comes to the side of the car, equally impressive. These are 20 inch rims. Depending on what category and depending on the options you choose, you can go up in size, 21, 22, but standard is 20 inch rims and they're pretty big. There's not much to talk about when it comes to the sides. The door handles have completely gone. This is a brand new concept where basically you put your hands in and it opens up. Now, you can get the option where you voice control the car and say open doors and it opens up the door. So the car comes with many features and many upgrades, let's just say that if you want. But again, we're talking about the 735i, which is the entry level for the 7 Series. I love this little pattern over here. Basically, it's like shading the passengers that are sitting in the back without really you know, covering the, the glass. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Love the little chrome going on over here. And then we go to the back of the car. And when it comes to the rear car, in my opinion, it's not as impressive as the front of the car because the front of the car is something really wow, which makes the back of the car kind of like, eh, okay. Not that it's bad, but when comparing to what it did in the front, it's not that impressive. It's pretty much very simplistic, very, you know, basic back end. You'll notice that there's no exhaust tips. So the exhausts are here, they're right at the bottom. But there's no exhaust tips. What basically BMW is trying to do with the 7 Series is trying to make you feel like whether this car is electric or non-electric, it still looks the same. So that's why these exhaust systems are hidden. I think it works because pretty much you can buy this car, any type of 7 Series, and they all look the same with minor, minor differences in terms of power and in terms of interior. I don't know if the camera can see this, but this is huge. It really, I can't even reach. Okay, yep, I just managed to reach the end of it. It really is huge. In my opinion, it's one of the largest boots in its category of these luxury, large size, limo size uh, vehicles. You can pretty much fit whatever you want in the boot. It can accommodate anything you want. And it's pretty useful, especially for people with a lot of luggage. This beautiful piece of machinery is six cylinder turbo and it gives you about 286 horsepower. Now remember, this is a 735i. Um, there's a 740, which gives you more. Still six cylinder, but it gives you more horsepower. So zero to 100 kilometers is about 6.7. Um, the 740, zero to 100 kilometers is about a second less. That's about 5.5 or something. Um, again, not that big of a difference, but at least they're giving the um, customers that option.
Okay, enough talking about how this car looks from the outside. What's even more important, in my opinion, is how it drives and how comfortable it is. So let's check it out. What a quiet car. It's so quiet. It actually feels like an electric car. This is how electric cars sound. No sound. I'm actually just isolated. I feel like I'm isolated in a capsule. There is them and there is me in here. I love the luxury finishing of this car. I mean, it's, it's BMW, so who, we're kidding. Of course, this is a, the most luxurious brand. So I believe what BMW is trying to achieve over here by having an amazing display when it came to the lighting, be it the exterior or the interior lighting system, is that wants people to know that this is a BMW even at night. So even in pitch dark, when you can't actually see the car, just the lighting accents that it has is gonna tell you that it's a BMW. That's part of, I believe, BMW branding DNA. Basically, it wants to kind of show that its vehicle is a BMW even when it's dark. The lights can change depending on the mode of the car, my modes. Okay, let's see this, what is this? There you go. <laughs> Each mode has its own look and own style. It's basically all about feelings, this car. All right, let's switch mode. Let's go with the personal. I think this is what we had earlier. Switch modes again. Let's go with the efficient. Look at that. That is truly impressive. The car has Bars and Wilkins speakers. Now I've heard that it has 40 speakers, it has 50 speakers. I mean, once you say a car has over 30 speakers, it doesn't really matter if it's 30, 40, 50, or 60. But basically it has a lot of speakers embedded everywhere that gives you that amazing um, music and sound experience. I'm not getting the feeling of this is my car and I'm driving my car and this could be my daily driving car. I'm not getting that feeling BMW. I am getting the feeling of that, you know, I better take care of whoever's sitting in the back. I better make sure that whoever's sitting in the back is experiencing the best experience and enjoying the best ride of their life. That's what I feel. So when it comes to the back, which is, in all honesty, all about this car is the back seats. This is where the magic happens. There's basically a screen on each door that you can control pretty much everything. Hold down the theater. Guys, you should buy this car just for this, basically. This is an experience like no other. This is why, in my opinion, this car is gonna be one of the best limos there are out there. Because if you're trying to impress the passenger, if you're trying to impress your guests, your customers, your clientele, your CEO, anybody, you cannot really impress them even more than this. So it's important to say that when I referenced saying that it's very well priced, I mean, sure, 51,000 dinars, Bahraini dinars, is not a little money. Uh, we're talking about what, what is it, about $125,000, give or take, which is not a little money, but let's keep things in perspective. We're talking about the highest category of cars, the most luxurious. We're talking about the, the epitome, you know, the, the Mercedes, the BMWs, the Lexus, the Audis. This is it, it doesn't get more luxurious than those brands. And we're talking about the highest category in those, the highest class in those, in those brands. 
So when taking all that and factoring all that, and then I'm saying that this car is actually pretty good value for what you're getting, that's what I'm referencing to. I'm not saying that this is an inexpensive car. Of course it's expensive, but that's what you're supposed to pay for expensive cars. I haven't said much about the actual driving experience of the car because honestly, I don't feel this is what they're trying to market with this particular vehicle. What they're trying to market with the vehicle is actually its luxury, its look, and also its comfort. And that is really what makes this even more impressive. When it comes to the driving experience, I mean, it's a BMW, what do you expect? Obviously, it has the ultimate driving experience. Uh, you know, whether it's the steering, whether it's gearbox, what is the engine, what is the dynamics, what is the cornering, what is the braking, it's a BMW. That's a given that it's going to be good or it's going to be impressive. What's not given is the other things that we actually talked about. And again, I say it again, the price, the price of the vehicle for this category is a very, very impressive price. You're getting the ultimate driving experience, the ultimate comfort experience, the ultimate luxury and the ultimate price. Well done BMW. Okay guys, we've reached the end of the show. I hope you enjoyed it as I did, because it was really, truly enjoyable driving this car. What did we learn? We learned that BMW basically changed everything about the 7 Series. The front looks like no other car. The interior, well, it's just amazing, <laughs> basically. And the driving experience is still as BMW. And what makes this car even more attractive than the Audi and the Mercedes, in my opinion, is its price. I'm gonna get back in this car and we'll see you later.